looks like a candle. That's what it looks like. It's a deep orange like so. And they're still playing like crazy. <laughs> Some of it is really funny, but it's not captured on the video, but <clears throat> there were a couple of scenes, though, that I found kind of sad. It Honestly, it looked to me as if they were burying a loved one, and now those scenes are gone, replaced with these epic scenes. If you look at this closely, I can uh, work the pics when I get home that I have of this stuff, and it'll come out so clear. I've seen literally man and woman making love. I've seen like table set for dinner, two people eating. Later on, I saw them making love. Later on, I saw a baby. Like this is in an eight hour day, maybe. And you know, I know for years I would say, oh, I'm not seeing that. Well, yes I was. <laughs> and yes you are, in case you're wondering. I don't know why we've learned so well to bury our realness, you know? Because we do it succinctly. And no one ever comes right out and says to do that. But boy, we hear it loud and clear, don't we? It's, it's wonderful that this is all changing. Now to me, this looks like a big guy holding on to some little people. But again, I need to work it. Looks like a, a crown on top even. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong. Now, that is just gorgeous. And, uh, yes. I haven't sun gazed in so long. I only come out once a week now, so I could do it from home. But it hasn't been sunny in the mornings until this last week. And, I, and I'm not real sure. I don't have a place where I can watch the sunrise without getting in trouble. That water has got my attention right now. And I don't know any Q followers. I usually don't mention any Q stuff on here. <laughs> but Q has been saying for a long time to watch the water. And you know, Trump talks about the water a lot. He's almost like obsessed with it. And the stupid mainstream media thinks that he brought attention to himself drinking his water like that for no reason. I mean, if you watch the water, there are many things to watch from treatment plants to bottled water and these Hollywood stars being behind it. Uh, if they're behind, if you've got Hollywood behind something, I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't no good. Okay? I don't care if it makes your skin look 50 years younger. You can bet that it's probably got a child's soul essence in it or something. There will be something not right. And it's unfortunate, but you got to stop looking for good in Hollywood. Probably weird. It's getting taken down. They're connected to the politicians and the mainstream media. And yes, I understand these people are the worst, but to me, the mainstream media is the worst because this stuff could not have happened for as long as it did to get as deep as it did if the mainstream media wouldn't have been complicit and in on it. So the media isn't even what we think it is, you know. I don't think an aspiring journalist with a big heart and a sharp mind is a bad person. They want to tell the truth, but you are taught and raised and it's put in your roots of you. If it takes, you know, it never took with me, thank God, about money, you know, and, and especially if your parents or your family or somebody pays for your college, well, who are you to not go back to work and get that, you know, get that degree showing itself in life, right? So somebody can brag about doing this thing with them for you. And... Really, we've got to come away from that too. Too many doctors, nurses, it's not their calling. But they had they went to college for medicine and, and it cost a lot of money and they've got to get their money back. You know, and they've got to show what they've learned, right? That would, can't have that be a waste of time. Well, yeah, it's not a waste of time if you learn something. Even if you're learning, this is not my calling. And I wish that I could say that and then whisper that in the ear of every single medical professional. Because if you don't belong around people, then you damn sure don't belong in medicine. All right? Now, I understand there are some intelligent doctors that we want. They don't have a bedside manner, but they'll save your life. That's different. 
right? And that I don't mean that everybody has to know how to be nice. You, you don't have to be nice and sweet like honey to be good around people. Sometimes people don't even realize you're there, right? So they can't even say anything great about you because you're the one that people think it magically happens. Well, it never magically happens, guys. There's always some quieter person in those cases who was more demure and less ego. They really just want to do it, you know. We just want to do it. We want to get it done. And we don't want nobody to say thank you because that's not what it's about. And it feels weird to be thanked for what we feel is that's just stuff you got to do. You're supposed to do it. But I, you know, just like I don't have a, you know, a calling to do some things, and but I do that or what, well, you know, we're all got our callings. And I just wish to goodness people could be happy too. And that's the thing. And that's what it all boils down to is don't do it to make someone else happy because in the end, if, if everyone's not happy, then, then, you know, what are we doing it for? Yeah. So that's my soapbox, and I'll stop now. And I hope you guys really love this as much as I do. I hope I didn't go on too long. Look at that beautiful water. Do you know how many ships? Every bit of light. Everything. There's nothing that I haven't photographed, not even concrete, that I can't find life in. Or an aura of some kind. Um, there is life in everything. And right now, there are ships. <laughs> You can go down the road and take a picture of the trees as you're flying down the road. Take a few, and I promise you, you are going to start seeing some amazing things. Just people should start really whipping out their cameras when they're alone. And, you know, if you can't get all deep into nature, take a picture of the trees on the side of the road. Just connect with nature because those trees are doing so much for us the foliage, the insects. You guys, they are doing some really important things right now. And even if you don't like bugs and spiders, it's okay. You don't have to like your family either, but it's good to love them, right? So just love them and appreciate them. Tell them thank you. Because they have literally um, heading to that new earth ahead of us with the codes and everything. Just like there's so much innate natural beauty here that we rely on them. And even take them for granted, don't we? Well, we won't be doing that on the new earth. Right? Because we're saying thank you now. So as we blend into our new earth with our beautiful, loving uh, service to others, uh, it's just amazing, guys. I'm so glad I'm aware of it. Isn't that water beautiful? Okay, I'm going to go. I love you all my heart. I really, really do. It shocks me sometimes how much I love people I don't even know. And I hope that you have a fabulous day.